The U.S. Supreme Court ended its session today with a ruling that pitted religious freedom against women's rights. It ruled that owners of private companies can refuse to provide insurance to cover birth control on religious grounds. As Neil McDonald tells us, the court was divided, with the dissenting side raising concerns the impact of the decision could be deep and dangerous. Outside the Supreme Court today, opponents formed up on either side of America's ideological line. Birth control advocates on one side. Ho, ho! Hey, hey! Birth control is here to stay! Anti-contraception and anti-abortion advocates on the other side. And, as is so often the case, the court's nine justices split the same way, liberal versus conservative, but with a big difference. All three female judges opposed today's ruling. What we saw today was five male justices rule that discrimination specifically against women is not discrimination in their book. To the court's five conservative judges, the issue was religious freedom. Religious business owners, they ruled, cannot be forced to provide health insurance that covers contraception. And if the business owner considers a fertilized egg to be a human being, well, so be it. Courts must not presume to determine the plausibility of a religious claim, wrote Justice Samuel Alito. The court's female justices, along with one male judge, dissented. Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg wrote that the decision will deny legions of women who do not hold their employer's beliefs access to contraceptive coverage. Furthermore, she warned, allowing religious exemptions to the law is dangerous. Will today's ruling, she asked, extend to employers with religiously grounded objections to blood transfusions, Jehovah's Witnesses, antidepressants, Scientologists, medications derived from pigs, certain Muslims, Jews and Hindus, and vaccinations, Christian scientists, amongst others. The conservative justices said no. Today's ruling was specifically and only about contraception. But America's culture wars never end. Almost certainly, the conservative Christians who were so delighted by today's ruling are already calculating how they can use it to further expand their agenda. Neil McDonald, CBC News, Washington.